Welcome to Cyberarc Workforce Password Management, your enterprise password manager. Using a password manager is pretty simple for most users, but to make sure you get the most out of improving your productivity and security with Cyberarc, I'll show you how to install the browser extension, the different ways to log in, how to add passwords and secured items, how to access your saved items, and how to securely share your saved items. You'll need to have the CyberArk browser extension installed on your browser. I'm showing you in Chrome, but other browsers are also supported. The CyberArk Identity browser extension might already have been installed by your administrator, but if it hasn't yet been installed, log into your CyberArk user portal. The browser extension is needed for capturing and auto-completing web credentials and as well as accessing other CyberArk functionalities. You'll notice a round red symbol on the application tiles. This indicates the browser extension is missing. You'll also receive a notification at the top to click on the link to install the browser extension. Click on the link. Follow the instructions to download the browser extension. You'll be directed to the browser extension store to add the CyberArk Identity browser extension. If you don't have permission to install, contact your help desk. Once you've installed the browser extension, be sure to pin it for easy access to the browser extension. You must log into your browser extension in order for CyberArk to capture and autocomplete to work. To connect the browser extension to your account, click on the browser extension icon and click Sign In. This will open up a new browser session to your CyberArk user portal. When you see the pop-up window, be sure to click Sign In. This will enable your browser extension to access your CyberArk account. You may need to log into your browser extension each time you launch your browser. To secure your passwords from password stealing malware, be sure to disable your browser's password manager and auto-completion settings. There are several ways to log into CyberArk. The first method is to go directly to your organization's CyberArk portal login page. The second is to click on the CyberArk browser extension, then click Sign In. If your organization has a single sign-on solution, click on the CyberArk application tile to access the CyberArk Workforce Password Management user portal. Don't forget to click Sign In when you see the pop-up. This will activate your browser extension and link it to your account. There are several ways to add credentials into CyberArk. The first option is to use a predefined application template. Notes can be added to any saved item. Categorizing with tags makes it easy to organize and find your passwords later. If your web application has two-factor OTP enabled, you can store the security key in CyberArk so you can log in with CyberArk and not have to open up your phone and type in the one-time code. I'll click on the Setup Key link, copy the secret, switch to my CyberArk user portal, paste a secret from GitHub into the authentication key field, click apply, copy the verification code, then click save so it can be used later, go back to GitHub and enter the verification code. When I log in, I'll click on the CyberArk icon to autocomplete my username and password. Right click into the authentication code and go to the CyberArk menu to select the verification code I saved and paste it into the field. 
A more popular option for adding credentials into Cyberarch is to log into your websites like you normally do. After you have entered your username and password, the Cyberarch browser extension will ask if you want to save the credentials into Cyberarch. You could change the name that your credentials will be labeled under. Notice the FedEx logo and the custom name we gave is being displayed. To store non-web passwords, I can select Password or Secured Notes. For all non-built-in application templates, the name and logo can be customized. Custom fields can be added for additional information. The third option for adding credentials into Cyberarch is to import my credentials from my previous password manager. I can upload a CSV file or log into my previous account through Cyberarch. You can customize how your saved items are displayed by dragging and dropping into the desired order. You can sort alphabetically frequently used, recently added, or group by type or tags. You can also organize your items by creating folders. and drag and drop items into the folder. If you have the CyberArk Identity mobile app installed on your phone, your saved items can also be arranged by type or tags in the CyberArk Identity mobile app. There are several ways to use CyberArk to log into your web accounts. First, I can click on the CyberArk browser extension, then select my FedEx account. Notice it will open a new browser session and automatically enter my username and password. The second way to use CyberArk is to go directly to the login page of the website I want to log into. Then click on the CyberArk icon in the Username field and select the account I want to log in with. The third method is to go into the CyberArk user portal and click on my FedEx account. Cybark will open a new browser session and automatically enter my username and password. I can also launch the Cybark Identity mobile app on my phone and tap on the FedEx icon to log into my FedEx account. The ability to share is managed by your administrator. If you are unable to perform the next section, your administrator may not have given you the permission to share. On the left is my CyberArk portal, and on the right belongs to my coworker Abel. I want to share my GitHub account with Abel, so I'll click on these three dots in the top right corner. Then I'll go to the Sharing tab, click Add, and search for Abel. Once I've added Abel, I'm going to leave the permission as None, because I only want him to be able to log into the account but not see or change the password. 
When I click Save, we can see GitHub pop up on Able's portal automatically. The green new label will help identify that a new item has been added that he hasn't accessed yet. As we can see, Able can log into the GitHub account. But when we look at the account details, he's not able to see the username password like I can. If we change his permission to view, he's now able to see the username, but not make any changes to the username or password. If we change his permissions to edit, he's now able to make changes to the credentials. If I only want to share my GitHub account temporarily, I can enter a start and end time. When the end time arrives, the GitHub account will automatically disappear from Able's portal. For documentation, click on Online Help at the bottom left corner of the CyberArk user portal. Congratulations! You've completed the end user training for CyberArk Workforce Password Management. You can start saving and sharing your passwords more securely.